Hi everyone, we meet again in this episode and I'm going to explain about part 2 which is guided writing in SPM 1119 paper 2. The length of the essay should be in between 120 words to 150 words. You should be able to develop arguments or ideas, explain advantages or disadvantages of options, and you are also expected to give and justify opinion by giving reasons. Before I share the tips, I would like to show you a sample question for part 2. Please bear in mind that you have to identify and understand what the question wants. The next step to do is to brainstorm and you should also remember to organize your paragraphs and include cohesive devices in your writing. Identifying the task is simple. They are there in the bullets that you can see from the questions. So here, the task requires you to think about where, which means you have to talk about a place in Malaysia. Second task is reason, and the word reasons come in plural form, which means you have to provide more than one reasons. And finally, what would you do? That means you have to provide suggestions of activities that you would do at that place. Next step is to plan your writing, which means you have to brainstorm your task and elaborate by using 5 W's or give examples. As we brainstorm, we are going to list the main ideas that we want to write in the essay. The main idea has to answer the task required in the question. When we think about where, we would definitely think about a place. Perhaps, for a local holiday, you might want to go to Penang. Don't choose London or Las Vegas because the question wants you to write about a local holiday destination. Provide two reasons why you choose Penang. It might be because of its nice beach and there are lots of food there. Now, think about activities that you would like to do there. You might want to do water sports and visit historical sites in Penang. The next planning stage is to plan the elaboration. You might use five W's which are where, what, why, when and who and you also can give examples as an elaboration. To elaborate about Penang, think about where is Penang. You can see that it is located in the northern region of Malaysia which is three hour drive from Kuala Lumpur. And think about how we can travel to Penang. Obviously, we can travel by car or public transport and also you can take a flight from an airport. Next is to elaborate on the reasons. You choose Penang because of its nice beach. The word nice is so common, so let's substitute it with word breathtaking. Why do you say it is breathtaking? It is because the beach is clean and sandy and you can enjoy numerous beach activities. But what are the activities that you can enjoy? You can give examples of the activities. Moving on to the second reason, you choose Penang because it has lots of food. Again, let's impress your reader with a better choice of words. You can say Penang is a food paradise. Why do you think it is a food paradise? You can say it has the best street food and offer a wide variety of choices. You can also list the examples of local food that you can get in Penang. Finally, think about activities that you would like to do there. When there is a beach, there will be water sports activities. You can choose to do one water sport activity. Let's say you choose paragliding. The second activity that you might want to do in Penang is to visit the historical sites. Since you know, Georgetown is declared by UNESCO as World Heritage Site since 2008. You can list examples of historical sites that you want to visit and give one reason why you choose to do this activity. Let's put all of our ideas into paragraph. As you can see, I begin this introduction paragraph with a general statement about Malaysia being a tourist attraction. Then, I straight away answer task 1, which is the place that I choose as my preferred local holiday destination. The ones in green are the elaborations about Penang. Next, for the body paragraph, I choose to put both reasons in the same paragraph. 
However, I start with reason 1, followed by elaborations and also some examples. Then, I continue with reason 2, its elaboration and also the examples. Finally, in the third paragraph, I state the activities to answer third task. I list activity 1 and provide an example of it. Then, I go with activity 2 and list the examples to elaborate on it. I also provide extra elaboration to explain my choice. And the ones in red are my final sentence that close the essay. There, I restated the main idea that I have stated in the introduction paragraph. Please note that I use a few cohesive devices in this essay. To give examples, I choose such as and for instance. To show the flow from one idea to another, I use first, moreover, in other words and besides. To draw a conclusion, I use the phrase all in all. I also use even though to express a fact that I think is true. So you can try this on your own. I hope my explanation is clear and helpful for you. Take a good care of yourself and I wish you all the best. Bye!